10 minutes before 7, they're up and at them in New York City, getting ready for the 89th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that starts in about an hour. This is a live look behind the scenes in Times Square. You might see a couple of familiar faces walking the parade route. Fargo Davies High School musicians Sydney Brousseau and Alexia Belk are among the thousands who are taking part in the parade today. Be watching for them on TV. 8 a.m. you'll start seeing the parade on CBS, 9 a.m. on NBC. If you're going to be busy or not around your TV around that time, NBC is replaying the parade at 2 this afternoon. Hi again and good morning everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for waking up with the Valley today. I'm Lisa Badeau. Kyle has the morning off. We're starting our nonstop news and weather to get you started here on this holiday. Of course, it is Thanksgiving Day. And while most Americans will be giving thanks with family and friends, others will be giving thanks in a less traditional way. One in five will be celebrating with their work family. Of the more than 3,600 workers surveyed this year, 22% said they'll be working today. That's actually up from just 16% last year. And for a whole lot of people on the road or jumping on a plane today and those waiting for guests to arrive, they need to know what's happening with the weather. So let's ask. It is 6.51. That means it's time for Weather on the Ones on this all-important Holiday, uh, well, big traveling holiday for so many people. Big travel day, and even if you just need to run out the door and go to the store uh, to get an extra ingredient today, you'll want to know what's going on with the weather as well. Here's a look at our forecast. Of course, we've got some pies baking in the oven likely this morning. Hopefully, they're not burning uh, in the oven this morning. We're looking at temperatures that are going to be rising into the teens and 20s for a high 26 degrees. Today in Fargo, we're going to have mostly cloudy skies and some light snow showers, especially in the morning hours, and then we'll get to see a little bit of sunshine in some places into the afternoon hours today. Here's a look at our radar and our satellite composite. We're looking at clouds across much of the region, and in addition to that, anywhere you see blue here, some snow showers likely falling. We're looking at some light snow just south of Bemidji over toward Park Rapids, and then, our, yeah, Park Rapids, and then back over to Pelican Rapids uh, in Ottertail County. We could be dealing with some light snow there. Grand Forks has been at times reporting some light snow, and that does include Devil's Lake, even though the radar is not quite picking it up there. And Southern Valley, again, we're looking at the better chance for seeing that snow today on the northern end of a system that's really starting to organize now. We're starting to see some snow showers over Sioux Falls, and this is going to press northward and impact the Minneapolis area. So the Twin Cities may get some snow accumulation there if you're heading in that direction this morning. Uh, give yourself some time because you might be running into some snow. And in addition to that, we'll see a few areas of light snow showers again in the Southern Valley that may just be enough to coat some of those road surfaces and make things a little bit on the slippery side. Farther south, ice concerns because of some freezing rain that's going to be building up and in addition to that some heavy rain. So this is a big storm system and it's likely going to impact travel in that area. Here in the valley we're looking at conditions that are just really mainly cold. We're at 19 degrees in Fargo, 18 in Grand Forks, only 7 in Langdon with a wind chill there of three below. So a morning to certainly bundle up. Zero in Devil's Lake and it feels like zero in Valley City as well. Four is the wind chill in Grand Forks and in Fargo. So looking at our conditions for today, hourly forecast will bring us some cloud cover, a few areas of some uh, sunshine for the afternoon hours that will help brighten things up on this Thanksgiving. And in addition to that, winds out of the north uh, staying steady in the teens and gusting into the 20s at times. So a little breezy, a little brisk for today uh, for this Thanksgiving. Eventually those flakes move out of here, a high of 26 degrees. For Black Friday, it's going to start off pretty cold single digits and 11 in Fargo and we're looking at 31 degrees for the high so some recovery happening on Friday and Saturday it looks even better Saturday and Sunday for traveling back home you're gonna have some pretty decent conditions here in our region with high temperatures back into the upper 30s for high in Fargo yeah nice weekend ahead but like you said mm -hmm. bundle up for your Black Friday shopping or this afternoon because Thanksgiving and then some stores <laughs> open like at three. So exactly. Even... Yeah, temperatures are going to be dipping tonight into the teens, even in the evening hours in some places. So you're right. You'll want to bundle up if you're heading out. Even tonight, not mm -hmm. just tomorrow morning. Right. Thank you, Lisa. You may be starting to cook that turkey for your family of 10, but imagine cooking for more than a thousand people. Members of Blessed Sacrament Church are preparing their annual Thanksgiving meal that feeds, well, typically more than 1,500 people. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop joins us live with how the preparations are going. And, uh, well, you have been in the kitchen. It looks like you're out into a different area this morning. 
That's right, Lisa. We're out here in the area where everyone will be getting their meals and will be eating. The tables are set. They're lined with cups and plates, and the silverware is rolled, and the plates are getting put out, and the food is going to be put back in the buffet line shortly. It's here at Blessed Sacrament Church from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., where they'll serve their th annual Thanksgiving dinner. They've been doing it for about 37 years now, and they serve over 1,800 pounds of turkey and over 150 pies does it take to serve. What makes this so special, Karen? Oh, it's just the smiles on the faces of the people receiving the meal and the people serving the meal. And it's really a family from what I understand. All the volunteers gather around every year to do this. Yes, we have a core group of volunteers. That they're the same ones, and it must be fun because they keep coming back. And anyone can come out here to this dinner. It doesn't matter if you have family or if it's just yourself, correct? Right, right. If you, if you have a big family and you want to come out and join us, we would love to have you. So it doesn't matter if you're by yourself or a family. And what makes like keeping this organized? You know, cooking for a family of ten or even a family of five. I've cooked for for for, for before. I've been stressed out, but you guys don't seem stressed here. You're having fun here. Well, some of them have been doing it for thirty some years, so they know what goes into the to the operation and in the volunteers. So they know what to do, and it just runs smoothly every year. So if you're interested in coming out and enjoying this great feast here, it's at Blessed Sacrament Church in West Fargo starting at 11 a.m. today. And it is free and open to the public. Come on out and you can even help out if you want to, interested in giving back. Really is a, a great operation that they have going over there. Ashley Bishop reporting live for us. Thank you, Ashley. As you begin preparations for your Thanksgiving meal, health experts have some good reminders to make sure your feast is not only delicious, but safe. The first rule is to keep everything clean, starting with your hands. And while it's important to wash all of your fruits and vegetables, you should never rinse raw meat or poultry before cooking. And to prevent bacteria from spreading, be sure to keep raw eggs, meat, seafood, and their juices away from foods that won't be cooked. Now, be sure your turkey is thoroughly cooked. Experts recommend inserting a meat thermometer into the innermost part of the thigh or thickest part of the breast. It's safe to eat once the temperature reaches 165 degrees. And if you stuffed your bird, the temperature of that stuffing should also be 165 degrees. Police are out in full force this Thanksgiving weekend, which is prime time for drinking at the bars. Many workers in the downtown Fargo area say they take a proactive approach over the busy holiday weekend. Most will call you a cab to make sure you get home safely if they realize you're not safe to drive. You can find this story on valleynewslive.com and find links to companies dedicated to making sure you have a sober ride home. The North Dakota Highway Patrol has identified a 16-year-old killed in a crash near Jamestown. Bailey Stoppelworth of Kensal died in a crash on Highway 20 about six miles north of Jamestown. Officers say Stoppelworth lost control of the vehicle on a curve of frost-covered roadway and rolled the car into the ditch. 16-year-old Macy Olson of Jamestown was taken to the Jamestown Hospital for medical treatment. Olson survived that crash. A disturbing criminal case out of St. Paul. A 55-year-old St. Paul man is charged with kidnapping and sexual conduct for allegedly holding another man captive for four days and repeatedly sexually assaulting him. The 19-year-old victim told police that he came up to him on a Minneapolis street and strangled him until he passed out. Teen says he woke up in a basement, chained to a wall. Four days later, when his captor left the house, the victim says he was able to get one hand out of the handcuffs, so he was eventually able to throw a fire extinguisher through a window and crawl out to a neighbor's house for help. It's time now to get our answer to our question of the morning on Facebook. What are men twice as likely to forget on vacation? The answer, underwear. Oh, no. You can take part in our question of the morning on our Valley News Live Facebook page. Go ahead and join the conversation. Something easy to go by. That's though, true. If you forget that. That's true. The stores are open on Thanksgiving now, so if you, you can get a good deal. Some things, you can Maybe go buy some that. long underwear on your Black Friday <laughs> you sale. Yeah, that'll keep you nice and warm with temperatures in the single numbers for tonight and tomorrow morning in a lot of spots. This morning, we do have some areas of light snow. Be aware of that. Some of those roads may get slippery at times. Don't use your cruise control. And bundle up if you're stepping out the door today. We've got temperatures that are going to make their way into the upper teens to some mid-20s for your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for waking up with us. We're thankful for you. Have a great day.